this is the best mug of all time, and you can't tell me otherwise. And if you haven't seen In Between Us, then that's just sad. So, today is just another day for me, really. Um, I'm on a gap year which I hate calling it a gap year because I'm not actually going to uni but technically I am on a gap year because I'm taking a year out to do stuff but I'm not actually doing much so I thought I'd bring you along for the day I don't have anything planned that's a lie actually I'm going for a run this morning look at how disgusting these running shoes are they're not actually running shoes they're 95s but uh, yeah that's, that's tragic anyway let's go for a run what a beautiful view. I don't know if you can see those people in the water, but I swear to God, it's literally like minus two. Jesus Christ. People say when I put the headband in, I look like a uh, Todd Cantwell. Does anyone agree? I don't actually have any here. Do I look like Todd Cantwell? Let me know, because if so, Todd Cantwell is a very handsome man, so I'm not complaining. So don't tell me otherwise. Tell me I look like Todd Cantwell. <laughs> We're having breakfast. Um, I usually have peanut butter and jam on toast. It's very like American, I know, but what can you do? See, the thing about peanut butter and jam on toast, it's a very like dense meal. Like you can literally feel it like going down your throat. It's awful, but uh, it tastes delicious. So yeah, fair enough. Also, uh, it turns out that there is no jam. So we've got Aldi's finest chocolate spread. If you cut your toast into rectangles, you're a weirdo. I don't know whether I look at the camera or like at myself. I, I can't help looking at myself, but yeah, anyway. Going to edit, and then we're going to go for a walk afterwards. My daily afternoon walk. It's, it's like a ritual that I have. I always go on a walk in the afternoon, and it's mint. When I'm on my walk, I've got some parcels that I need to send off. Uh, I'm actually quite sad to be sending this, to be fair. It is probably the sexiest jacket. Well, it's up there. My, my brown old face is quite nice. We have Cortez. I'll get it out and show you why not. Jesus. Now that, it's what I call a jacket. But unfortunately, I have no business spending 400 pounds on a jacket, so Let's take this thing off. So initially I was gonna wear these on my walk and then I realized it's probably gonna be quite muddy. So we're going for the trusty blazers instead. Oh, they're probably dirty. Right, I really underestimated how hard this is gonna be. I'm balancing it on the side of my head. My tote bag's falling down my heart. To be honest, the tote bag is just as much as a nuisance. There's a bloody huge parcel. You can't even fit it in the frame. Jesus, right, I've, I've literally got like another mile to go as well, if not more. I look like such an idiot. I'll see when I get there. <laughs> that was an interesting experience. The, the massive box, like, wouldn't go into the, the compartments because it was so big. So bloody half of Morrison's checkout was just watching me do it, no one came to help. So I just force it in, but yeah, done now. Off for a walk. I don't know if you can hear me. 
it's quite busy. Well, it's quite noisy. It's not really busy. That's why I came here. You know, I don't want to be talking in front of a camera in front of loads of people. It's quite nerve-wracking. But uh, I hope that's straight. Anyway, uh, I just want to say, make sure you go outside. It's nice. Fresh air is good. Get yourself outside. It's fun. It's refreshing. Make sure you do it. There's people over there, so, I, so I'm hurrying up. <laughs> right, we're going to get a coffee, of course. A little Costa. And then we go to Morrison's to get some snacks. Now I have really weird snacks, so don't judge me for my snacks, but uh, yeah, Morrison's bash. Very hot, burnt my tongue a bit. And plus it doesn't even taste of vanilla, that's, that's actually quite rank. It's 3.45 for that as well. It's actually a little bit disgusting, to be honest. That was, without a doubt, the worst coffee I've ever had in my life. The fucking vanilla syrup must have missed the cup and hit, like, went down the side of the cup. So, not only did it taste shite, all the fucking vanilla syrups now on me hand, and I've got a sticky hand, it tasted like a genuine poo, like it literally tastes like poo. I don't know why I drank it, it's in the bin now. I'm not angry about it or anything, as you can tell. Right, ever since I was a child, like literally between like three years old, me, my mom and my sister, I'm obsessed with these. And uh, they're called red skin nuts. I mean, you've probably heard of them, they're not, they're quite common. I, I, I'm literally addicted to them. Like I've been addicted to them since I was like three years old. Again, not quite your average snack, but bloody lovely, so I don't care. Your beauty. This is fucking gorgeous. It, this is not me trying to be all different. Like, I know I'm a freak. This is genuinely the snacks I would choose. I did say it was going to be weird. But my, uh, my parents are going to love this. I swear to God, if you have not tried these nuts, they're actually incredible. They taste a bit like cardboard, but like nice cardboard. Not like not, not that I try cardboard. There's just something about them. They're so nice. Good source of protein as well. I'm back home now. I've been back home for like two hours. I've been watching back the clips, and I didn't realize that I've cut my head off about ninety percent of them. So sorry about that. So I've just been in the group chat with my friends, and I think we might be going on the Xbox. So I'm gonna jump on, play a few games, and uh, just chill for the rest of the night, really. I also brought a cup of tea. Which is now slightly cold. So it's a bit later on now, before I go to sleep, I usually read a little bit. I'm reading Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Hopefully it works, am I right? <laughs> so this was a boring little day in my life, which wasn't actually so boring, to be fair. Especially at the end there, that was pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm not sure if that's the word for it, but anyway. 